This is Big Cat coming at you live with another episode. A new episode, actually. An interesting episode. Isn't that what you want to hear? We're watching some new stuff. And yes, I picked to be a girl this time. Because I can. Anyway, uh, as the title probably already suggests, or as you can already see, we are playing Shadowverse, the game I kept calling Shadow Hearts like 18 times in a row. Why did I do that? I have no idea. <laughs> but yes, um, bear warning, this game has two things in common with Pokemon. One, um, very long tutorial. Two, interesting animation. But aside from all that, though, um, well, actually, let me quiet down so you can hear this. Now that's over, I can speak again. Um, let me start off with saying this. First off, I'd like to thank all the subscribers for the fact that we actually made it over 100 in the past, I think, two days ago. Um, we are now one miniature yet so big, big cat family. Big cat loo family, I guess. I don't know what else to fucking call us, though. We're just maybe big cat family. Anyway, um, aside from that, um, as for a celebration, I have no idea what to do because I usually just do this just to chill and relax. I, uh, I'm being honest. I, I I do a lot of this just to chill, relax, and have fun, and hope even people who watch it also get pulled away from society and all the random shit that's happening too. Um. Uh, normally, when there's important parts, I won't talk over it, but I'm gonna definitely be talking over this part for right now because it's just simple things. Also, he's got like the greatest dad bod. <laughs> Aside from that, um, what I'm, I guess, saying I could probably do is I'll probably try to either make a poll or if you just got like comment down in this video, it might be easier to make a comment down in the video, um, a game you guys might want me to play. And I will probably start doing that on Mondays and actually try and maybe stream it. And the maybe streaming is like, I will not show my face, sorry. <laughs> but I'll still um, play it live maybe or something like that. Something simple. Or what I might do, um, if no one says anything, I might just do like a Pokemon randomized version of like Pokemon Crystal something like that. Or like one of the older games. And then just um to record every gym leader battle the randomized version just put them on a shorts and then if you guys actually want i'll just um show the full recording so then we go and talk about it and we'll actually make some videos out of it uh she walks slow as shit the character i have walks slow as fucking shit um yeah that was one problem i had in this game they don't tell you how to run until a little bit later but even then still like, this person walks slower than Molasses. <laughs> five minutes of heat, or uh, five points to whoever knows where that joke comes from. But, um, yeah, walks slower than Molasses, and she's like, why? Why? I, I know there's just something about being elegant, but still, why? 
also the next part I'm about to say is anything I say about this character that I would do is, is if I'm like for some reason got like isekai into being this character that's why I'm saying I would do it and right here I would deck that character out <laughs> I'm saying it's all just kidding now there's a um, a grown man decking a character that would be messed up, but um, I thought this guy's her straight up deck out. I'm just saying right now, straight up deck out. I just no, <laughs> too close. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, for most of the tutorial parts, when there's voiceovers, I won't. Um, I'll, I'll probably end up speaking over and just talk about stuff like that. But when it becomes the like the later parts and um, it's like more important story wise, I will not be talking over so we can enjoy it and then talk about the story after the fact. Um, but obviously it's a tutorial. I'm gonna do like eight thousand words. Also, this chick's a total bitch. Like I don't know any of these characters. I've never seen this anime. I I know of the game because of the mobile game because a friend of mine back when I was in uh, Japan for two years had me play this game with him because he wanted me to play it and don't ask me why i don't know why he wanted me to play it but i did um i actually technically i'm supposed to be playing league also and i i refuse to play that game <laughs> i refuse <laughs> but um yeah no, this girl's a total bitch unless she's like not a bitch in the anime but she's a total bitch right now i'm the one who said we should run i'm not asking whose fault it is this is a matter of common sense like I'm just saying, if I was a sketch of this girl, I'd be like, "Oh, I'm plotting your demise. I am plotting your fucking demise." <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm very vengeful at sometimes. <laughs> but again, like I say, everything I'm talking about, I don't know any of these characters. I assume they have an anime. I think they do because they wouldn't have all these characters on like this. But um, yeah, actually, no. Well, I'm also looking up right now. Do they actually have an anime? Cause I feel like this, they actually do have an anime because it wouldn't surprise me with all the uh, card games nowadays having animes. For example, Card Fight, Vanguard, even Bakugan. I mean, Yu Gi Oh! Obviously, Yu Gi Oh! is a childhood anime, but there's a lot of card games that have animes on them. But, um. Never mind, it's, it does have an anime. I might watch this and just give a review on this in one of these episodes. Bad, yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's on Crunchyroll and anime lists, or my anime lists, uh, rated at like 5.7 out of 10. I am DB rated 6.4 out of 10, and I'm saying out of the Google users, about 77% of them like the show. Um... Yeah, but um... Yeah, it seemed more like an anime because of the way the characters are, so I'm kind of curious how this is going to play out, how the story is actually going to be, because this is a smartphone type thing. Unless they do some, pull some card fight and guard bullshit, where it's just like, the world of Shadowverse is real. It's a real world. But, um, I will say this, so far, aside from Hero, I do like the other two characters. Kind of, they seem kind of like, down to earth. Kind of, not really, somewhat. Memori seems down to earth. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the other two yet. You'll probably have to do a self introduction when class starts. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm. What else is there? Oh, are you on the school network yet? You'll need to register your phone before you connect to it. Uh, I'm surprised that that happened, that she dropped her phone there but at the same time my whole thing is one why was it so important to have your phone like that freaking important to have it and then two if it was that important to have it i know the guy who was like helping her move the door i'm surprised he didn't like make a call to the teacher or something to let him know or something like that i just feel like there was a lot of I mean, I know it's a tutorial, and they're just trying to get you to, like, run back and forth and get used to the area, but at the same time, I'm like, really? Communication? You could have talked to the teacher, used intercom, got, like, a target note for her, so, like, she, knows she didn't get in trouble, because she actually just moved there, and then right now... It's just... I just I don't understand. I am... 
I am in severe confusion. You're going to? You bet I am. Team Tardy's gotta stick together. Got that right. Can't abandon a friend in need, you know? Uh, when you put it that way, maybe I should go to The power of friendship. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be a lot in this anime, or I don't know. I just literally said anime uh, in this game. <laughs> I will say this: I kind of like the 2D character art. It doesn't actually look too bad at all. It looks nice. Uh, the models, the three models, could use a little bit of work. Like you can literally see her clothes like floating off her body. <laughs> it's like for all of them, and it's just like I know something's like that stylized choice, but other times like that's not how clothes would work. <laughs> um, I mean, I know there's some clothes that can do that, but I don't think a school uniform is gonna be something that has like that perfect crease and doesn't like this. Oh no, we're running in the halls. Where's that bitch at now? Oh, <laughs> but um. Uh, are, are hypercritical about models now because of taking one zebrish class. I know, right? <laughs> it makes me an expert in everything. One zebrish class, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, okay, that guy is just literally there to tell you where to go. Like, it's pretty sad that he's just there to tell you where to go somewhere else. You, which, funny enough, I did not see the explanation point for some reason, so I had nowhere to go. So I just decided to talk to that guy, and of course. Exactly where you're supposed to go. Told you, the guy has a perfect dad bod. It's like the perfect dad face too. All the dadness. Dad. Watch, he's gonna be like an evil villain. I swear if he is an evil villain, I'm gonna be kind of pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna be hella pissed if he's an evil villain. <laughs> I'm be stupidly pissed if he is. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this whole episode is gonna be a pretty much a tutorial, and I was thinking about cutting it short, but I'm just like, nah, let's suffer together. <laughs> Pulling the Sether off here. Suffer together. But, um, actually, here's the question of the day, because, like I said earlier, um, comment down below what game you'd want me to play, um, if enough people like it, or if it's just an interesting enough game, I'll probably just play it anyway, and that'll be, like, a little subscriber celebration for, uh, us together reaching over 100 as a big cat family. Um, uh, when we reach, like, a thousand, I'll probably do a giveaway. I know I'm speaking, uh, what's it called? A little bit hyper in a sense, like we're gonna reach a thousand. Like I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Future is ever unchallenged, un ever unchanging. But if we do reach a thousand, um, I have no problem um, uh, doing some type of giveaway. I don't know, maybe some type of switch or something. Um, it depends on how high it is, like that. Or maybe it's so fast. How I don't know, but I'll do some type of giveaway. Also, I got points for respect with uh, Hero right here. I was like, nah, he, he's being a true friend. <laughs> like, they made him to a true friend. I'm like, damn. Now nah, nah, I gotta hit the uh, respect for Hero right here. <laughs> who, went to, who went to trouble just for you? <laughs> you did one time. Why was that his first question? Why was that his first question? Why was it so important to have the phone? Like, you know, let me just wait, and then you'll understand why I'm saying I'm asking that question. Yeah, they don't specify what they need the phone for. They didn't specify why she had to have her phone on her. It was just like, do you have your phone on you? Do you have your phone? Phone, 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 phone. It was just like, bro, chill. Like, chill. And I'm just like, why, why, why? I will say, uh, like, all the little. Uh, card games I've ever played. I played quite a few card games, slash, like, movies like that. 
I will say the th th four characters here actually seem kind of like their friends. It doesn't seem too, like, forced. It seems kind of just like they're actually kind of like, at least they're cordial with each other, at least I'll say that. I'm not saying like they're like best friends or something like that, but they seem at least cordial. I kind of wish there was a way to skip this tutorial because, like I said, I actually do know Shadowverse. I played it before. I liked playing the, um... It's not enchantment, but it was like this deck where you basically played down a lot of, like, spells in a sense, and they turned to monsters. You had to play as the character Eris to be able to, uh, I think it was Eris, wasn't it? I don't know, it was, it was a blonde chick in like a purple dress, and she was like partially evil at first, but she really wasn't in the end. So we need to play her to play that deck, and I like that deck a lot, or not that deck per se, but that uh, archetype a lot. My second favorite probably would have had to been the uh, spell, like the burning deck, which I think, I forgot her name too. I just remember she liked the she liked the dragon dude and then or she kinda liked the dragon dude. Until she found out what the dragon dude did and after that I just liked the dragon guy too. I don't know why I was so wrapped in the story, but I really was. I just did not like the dragon guy after that. I was like, Dragon guy die. <laughs> but um The funny thing is, and I'm spoiling this now, but all three of these fights we're about to do are all tutorials. <laughs> and it has the Shadowverse version of tutorials where they basically, like, make you, um... Make you less HP and stuff like that. So, yeah, Shadowverse is like basically a mixed weird version of like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh in a sense. That's like the best way to put it. I, I just don't know how to describe it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, quick rundown, which they're going to go over to. Whenever you play a card, you can't attack with it right away unless the card has, uh, I think, it's like their version of haste. And I think it's called strike or something, or like swift strike, something like that. Um, I forgot the exact term, but it's like swift something, and it allows you to attack automatically. There's swift something, and then there's also rush, because rush allows you to attack automatically, but you can only attack other monsters. You can't attack the leader, but I think swift or whatever it allows you actually to attack the um the um player uh, leader um there's also cards with different effects such as like wards stuff like that but then there's also cards that have like specialized effects where they can like just the um destroy cards in the field or like add damage there's some cards will even change your entire deck which is the reason why I wanted to get that card but I just never got lucky in the actual mobile game and I was trying to get the I think it was some card that, um, Eris, or the purple girl with, or blonde girl with purple dress had actually, now I need to look at the actual Shadowverse characters now, because I'm going to be mad. I'm pretty sure her name was Eris. I am 99% sure her name was Eris. I am 99% sure her name was Eris. Yeah, I was right, her name is Ares. And she will the having craft. The other person person storm that I also like uh playing me as was Runecraft Isabella. I forgot about Erica. Erica's the swordcraft. I like also swordcraft. Dragoncraft was good, I just didn't like playing it. Um Shadowcraft I didn't mess with too much. Portalcraft didn't touch. 
Um, Forest Craft was unique. Um, Rice and Bloodcraft was also pretty good too. But um, Eris had a card back in like when the game first came out, and it was basically like you had to have. I think you had to, like ten points to play it, ten minutes to play. And when you played it, it um destroyed your entire deck and brought you into a new deck that had like only ten cards. But those ten cards were just complete bullshit. Like, one of them did just head damage to fucking everything except for you. Another one was like a 2020 monster. It was stupid. But if you pulled it off, it was it was game over. <laughs> um, also, um, this is that typical anime bullshit. I know how to dance. <laughs> also, I remember probably this battle was longer than it should have been because I was just being stupid. Because, like, again, I have not played this game in a while. So, even though I know, like, the main role sets of it. It's kind of like magic. Like, I know the main set rules of the match, but I have not played magic in a long time. And I'm pretty sure if I jumped into it and like, played an online match, I would get my ass handed to me. On so many different levels, I would get my ass handed to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, remember I said the other battles of tutorial? Oh, they're going to get tutorial again. <laughs> tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. And they show it and throw it, your throat explodes. <laughs> um... But uh, what was I was saying, back to you on that, yeah, there's some like broken cards that I used to remember playing with as a kid that were just like, or not as a kid, I always say as a kid, but um, back in Japan, I used to play with them, they were just good. Um, wait, no, it's not match because you had to fight him again on the, uh, on the same episode, we fight him twice. Um, when we fight him again, that fight is a little bit longer because it like gives you a little bit more freedom. But at the same time, it's yeah, it's, it's annoying. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That character right there that uh, he played, that's what a ward looks like. Basically, I can only attack that monster, and I cannot attack him until that monster is dead. I also cannot attack other monsters while that monster is on the field. So monsters with ward are pretty good for protecting your other monsters, and also um, keeping your HP slash health safe. And these are something I was talking about, like the effects where they like basically can do damage and stuff like that, and be like, "Oh snap! I'm gonna deal like 15 points of damage to you because I can." I like give me that. Yeah. So. And as you can see, the basic distance why I wanted to play this game again because I did actually like playing Shadowverse. I just kind of didn't like the card system on the mobile system, like how that worked. Now you had to pay basically. I mean, you didn't have to pay, but if you were trying to jump in, it was basically like you're gonna have to pay a lot of money for gotchas. And it was like I'm already in two gotcha games that I play. Uh, I don't need to spend money. <laughs> This is one of that's Rush. So how they're yellow, like that allows them to attack automatically freely, but at the same time, they cannot attack the leader. They can only attack monsters. So for example, say if I evolve someone and it was a turn I played them, they can't um, attack uh, the player character or the player I'm playing against the opponent. They can only attack monsters. Also, the, I'm not gonna lie, that little, your finish was clean. <laughs> but. I am the anime protagonist. That's why I'm so amazing. I would say that. <laughs> also, why are you using we? I don't know you like that. <laughs> also, why was I picked? <laughs> How was I picked out of the club like that? That's rude. <laughs> I am a material girl, okay? <laughs> Uh, I mean, 
mean, that should kind of raise some flags if you're talk, trying to find a club and no one wants to talk about it. That should raise some serious flags. <laughs> some severe flags. <laughs> <laughs> some severely severe flex if someone doesn't want to talk about a club. <laughs> She's not wrong. Like, getting into the mobile game. Holy crap. But the mobile game story is actually pretty good, though. Um... It's actually really good. I kind of like it out of the version. Each character has like their own build up. I, I, again, like I said, I really hate the Dragoncraft character. I straight up hate that dude with an iron passion. <sighs> also, that is that one guy's catchphrase. You might be faster than me. You might be faster than me. You might be faster than me. Which I don't understand. Like, no one else has a catchphrase that quickly other than that dude. Yes, I got stuck behind a desk for five seconds. <laughs> Look at me. I'm running. Ooh, where's that scary lady at? I'm running. I'm running. I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention this too. I hope you guys had a good night at Thanksgiving. Um, also, another extra question. Yeah, you're getting two questions a day. Ha, that's our celebration. Two questions of the day. Ha. Anyway, um, did you guys enjoy Thanksgiving? If not, without giving me too many details, what'd you do? You have some good food and just chillax the family? What? For me, I ended up chilling with some friends I knew. And I made some lasagna. It was a super deep lasagna. Probably too much lasagna. If you know Persona 4, it was like the... Um, the meat, um, meatball special. A never ending lasagna. Never ending lasagna. So, this is one thing I don't like is that they force you into using, um, the Dragoncraft deck. And the reason I don't like that is because in the actual mobile game, they force you to start off with the Forest Craft deck first. And I feel like the Forest Craft deck is actually a lot better personally to like understand and go at and play the game. Because Forest Craft doesn't really have anything like crazy. It's just more like the cards in Forest Craft have like certain abilities that they do, but the actual deck itself doesn't do anything crazy. Like you don't have to worry about overflow or uh, blood and shadows and shit like that. And that's why I was like, this is a weird choice where they start off with like you using the dragon. Because the dragon deck is, if I remember correctly, one of the top tier, or should last time I played, it was like one of the top tier decks because it was just stupid. You just like basically overflow like a mother. You you could overflow like a motherfucker in mere seconds. There were certain spells you played to get those points, and then you start playing big monsters, start beating down them quickly. Now don't get me wrong. Other decks had some crazy shit too. Again, like I said, I like playing Eris's, uh or like not Eris, I keep calling like they have the fucking thing. I like playing Havencraft because you could summon down those uh, or put down those spells and like wait those few turns, and if you didn't die, you were summoning like six sixes and five threes and shit like that that were just rampaging non-stop and some of those motherfuckers oh it was called storm that's what it was it was storm storm was also not where it allows you to attack on the first turn automatically when playing it um yeah the city's monsters are straight up come out with storms so then start just destroying the opponent and it's just like damn so So I kind of like this. You can just buy single cards like that. That's that's nice. <laughs> Your first pack's free, so why not, right? Try buying a card pack. 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 Yeah, I, I started the screen for a second. So I had no idea what to do for a second. Because technically, they want you to play this like while you're actually holding the switch, because you can use your finger and like just drag it across how it does in the phone. So that comic graphic I thought if I press A once, it would just open them all up. It was like, nope, 
And he was like, no, go fuck yourself. I was like, oh. Okay. Rupees, I wonder where I heard that from. Angry yeah noises. <laughs> See, I told you, we're gonna battle him again. This man's a battle maniac. Almost bad as Nimono, if I remember that's correctly your name from Scarlet, is it Nimono? I would just play that game like almost a week ago and I still I don't remember her name. Man, I am bad at names. Yeah, Nimona. Yeah. Almost battle crazy like Nimona is. I'm your only battle rival. I'm the only one you'll ever need. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, she's crazy, but all over. <laughs> and now they give you a little bit more freedom. But at the same time, now it's, it's weird. Like, you see how his HP is still low? That's how, like, showers treats you. Like, during the story, they'll give, like, the uh, you an advantage automatically. Um, and they'll, like, lower their HP like that purposely. Yeah, I remember correctly, I kind of played slightly badly here, and I could have made some better choices. I'm really feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm really feeling it. Also, yeah, all the cards have some type of uh, voice acting, and that's something that's actually in the, um, what's it called? In the uh, mobile game, too. Definitely could have evolved some cards and did a lot of better. I'm pretty sure if I evolved that right there, I could have actually won right there, base become closer to winning. Or not gonna won right there, I forgot he had 10 HP. But I can't could have came a lot closer to winning. But I just I'm not really smart. <laughs> And then this man pulls some like the straightest bullshit right here. Also, yeah, this one's an overflow. When you have plus seven mana, all their effects start to start activating because you have plus seven. And then the cards start getting new effects because you have more than seven mana. That's when you get into overflow. Um, it was one of those things where it's just like, that's why I can your sense like, what is it? I was like, oh crap, here you played in, uh, a spell that gave him an empty mana point. Yeah, there's spells you can play that give you a free empty mana point where basically, um, where um, you gain an extra point of mana, so then your next turn you basically get plus two. And it's pretty brutal. not taking this long to evolve. What I should have did was actually evolve the mating because she would have knocked out those cards with ease because how much damage she would have done they would have had to attack her. So why I didn't do that I have no idea. And on top of that she would have had more HP and she would have um I don't know if she would survive that attack. She, I don't think she would have but the point is it would have gave me a lot of things and survived. And then he questionably does not decide to evolve that and kind of caught me of guard because if he did it would have kept me from doing what I'm about to do next. Me that was 
So just do that and destroy his own monster too. It's just like if he involved it, that wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah, that card caught me off guard, but it's actually a good card. And this one's on the uh, Dragon Oracle. He played it earlier, but uh, it has another effect once you have Overflow active, where it basically gives you an extra card. I was like, what to do? Can I become like Yugi Moto? Yes! I didn't evolve I have no idea right there I, I, I should have evolved it and had it attack Leviathan and didn't take it out but I am not the smart <laughs> I made some very questionable choices. Now that I'm watching it, starting to um, come back to it. I'm like, I definitely remember how to play this game, actually. <laughs> And then why I play these cards because spite. That's why. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm pretty sure this game will come a lot more fun after I get through this tutorial phase. Um, what I will be doing though is in between episodes, I'll probably do quite a bit of grinding to get more cards because. You don't really get good cards until you grind to get more, you know, level ups and points and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, and also I think through grinding you can actually get access to other um, uh, crafts too. Apparently, so and I want to get to having craft as soon as possible because I I like having craft. So I want to get having craft as soon as possible. Yes, because I got you the cards you need. It. Okay. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it seems like that really psychotic friend that just like do me, grace me. It's just like why, why? <laughs> I want to live. <laughs> I will say this, what I do like about this um, game is that whenever you get more than three cards, it will automatically change, uh, put it into extra points, like rupees, whatever, because you can't have more than three of any card, which is nice, so you automatically get basically, I guess, money back in a sense, so. And to get cards, you can stop by the Shadow Fenders. Oh, don't forget to play against people to win even more cards. Sometimes you'll even get a deck code. Whoa! Create decks, play matches, collect cards, create more decks. No two matches are ever the same. The thrill never gets old. That's what Shadowverse is all about. Yeah, so let me know also in the comments who's your third question. Yeah, I'm gonna question you all. That's our surprise for making other subscribers questions after questions after questions. But um let me know if you wanna see random battles, because I can also do that and just you know um, save those and throw them out. Huh, funny compliment. Or quite, uh, line.
So that club's as good as found. You know, I actually believe you this time. <laughs> Me too. All right, the hunt for the Shadowverse Club is back on. Okay. We're gonna find a club that we've been told basically we should not try and find. Because that makes perfect sense. I want to know too. Okay. Or the answer I want to know also. Actually, guess that about does that. How, how, what does that do? How, how do you know? I could have had more ideas, motherfucker. What? <laughs> Stop cutting me off. <laughs> I'm gonna just show me a bunch of like updates and stuff, like because I'm actually part of the game now and I have freedom to go and battle people, etc. Like that, like even go online and do tournaments. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> I will get destroyed right now. <laughs> Maybe in the future I'll go online and do tournaments, but I'll probably get my ass to hand it to me anyway. Because like I said, I'm not really in the Shadowverse world. I mean, that's a pretty interesting game. Like I know a lot about a lot of card games like that, but comes competitive I usually choke a lot so um I don't know but anyway with that the episode is now coming to a halt slash end um again thanks again for the 100 subscribers if you like this video uh, like comment subscribe um and join the big cat family and with that I see you in the next episode I bid you adieu